felt really good. Like, I think I'm gay now. <laughs> <laughs> the backlog. We're two brothers who have a big old collection of games, and we're going to sit here and talk about them. Every game we buy goes into an Excel spreadsheet, <laughs> and we're going to pick one at random and talk about it, regardless of whether or not we've played it. You like coffee? I do like coffee. You like Sail Away coffee? I do like Sail Away coffee, especially because they're sponsoring this video. And... They're from Long Island. Yes. We love Long Island. We hey, love Brooklyn Pizza Mario, spaghetti meatballs. Those are just the things those I just, those just, Long Island. That's not even close. But Sail Away Coffee is very much Long Island. And you can get you can get your own cold brew bottles that they will ship to you. Or you can get all various other products such as, uh, yeah, I have the website up. <laughs> you can get a box, like boxed wine, but it's cold brew coffee. Or you can get, you know, the ground so that you can do it your damn self to drink out of. Or, or because, mugs. Or mugs. You big or, stupid idiot. Or mugs. Shut up. If you want uh, Sail Away Coffee and you want 10% off, go to the link in the description below and enter the promo code WOLF to get 10% off at Sail Away Coffee. Inspired by travel, fueled by adventure. That's their tagline. I found it I'm picking website. a number. It's 291. 291, okay. <laughs> From Russia with love on the PlayStation 2. Ooh, did we not do this? No. We talked about this the other day. Okay. We might have. Yes. Yes. Uh, because, for some reason. Yeah. There was a reason for that. It was, I, it was on Wolf Den Live. Visceral. Visceral, Visceral made this Visceral made this. Visceral is no longer a company. Yes. R.I.P. That is sad. This was back when they were EA Redwood. Right. Yes. That was many moons ago. Many, many moons ago. I never played this. Right. You played this. I played this game. Because you are a big James Bond fan, I period. I love James Bond. And you like a lot of his games. Yes. So, From Rush With Love is inspired, was inspired by the film From Rush With Love. The gameplay is inspired by uh, James Bond Everything or Nothing, which was the previous, well, it wasn't the previous game, but it was the, the third person action adventure stealth game that the former Visceral made before this. Um, that game starred Pierce Brosnan, Judi Dench, John Cleese, Heidi Klum, Willem Dafoe, Shannon Elizabeth, all these great stars, and it felt like a James Bond movie. And they, and they wrote it and did everything like it was a James Bond yes. movie. And you love this, and this is an amazing. That was an amazing. Game. Yes, I played that. From Russia that with Love good. follows in the same footsteps. Um, it's this time it's based on an actual James Bond movie. Uh, it takes place in the '60s, um, which is when the movie took place. And and perhaps most importantly, or the biggest surprise of the game, Sean Connery reprised his role as James Bond. That's a huge. That's deal. nuts. He hasn't done that in any other medium. He retired from acting like years before this game came out. And somehow they convinced him to do this game. He probably thought that all you would have to do is go in a VO booth and spit some lines. I'm pretty sure that's all he did. <laughs> well, then there you go. Then that's why he did it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he didn't do the mocap for this. Yeah. This is before they did performance capture. Anyway. I, I mean, I remember it looked really good. Yes. This game looked I mean, for really good. A, a PS2 era game, like this, it was the same engine as Everything or Nothing, which was a great engine. And it, it, you know, it was just improved upon that. And like everything or nothing, it had all the elements. It had driving sections. It had stealth sections. It had um, what's called the Bond moments, where you could, you know, do outlandish things and you get bonus points for it because it's something James Bond would do. Right. It's not better than everything or nothing, even though it, you know, adds a lot to it. It just, it didn't. I guess because it didn't feel as fresh at the time, and like the levels were weren't as clever as that game was. Uh, the story actually isn't as good as Everything or Nothing either, even though From Rush With Love is one of the best Bond movies, mm -hmm. it didn't translate well to gameplay. From Rush With Love is very much a spy espionage movie. It's not a high action movie. They had to reinvent the storyline in order to make it a high action story for gameplay. They added a lot of subplots and elements. They added like two new characters to the story, played by Natasha Benningfield and Maria Menounos. For some reason, <laughs> Jesus Christ! But um, Visceral is really pulling in the money. Well, they, you know, I guess they were riding high on their other Bond games. They figured they could, you know. And this is EA. This is EA. Actually, yeah. yeah. But you know, it's it's still a very good game. You know, everything that was good about Everything or Nothing is still there. It just it didn't hit the same high notes. I guess because like you know the fact that it had Sean Connery in it, the fact that there was a very high concept. They're going back to the '60s. It was based on a well-established Bond movie. A lot of people think that's the best Bond movie, so there was a lot riding on it, and it just it didn't meet the expectations. But it was almost there, right? 
I the reason why I thought maybe he did mocap was because the face the, the faces look awesome. Yeah. This is before they did facial animation like yeah. that though. So it was probably hand animated faces. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, the game looks gorgeous. Yeah. That's about all I could say. There was that jetpack level. Yes. Which is funny because the jetpack is not from From Rush With Love, it's from Thunderball. Oh. So why the hell was that in the game? I guess because they, like I said, they had, kept, they had to reinvent the story, reinvent the context of the game, and throw in as much action elements as possible. Mm -hmm. That was one of the things they did, was throw in the jetpack from Thunderball. Well, I will say that like, um, there is a level where you're in Q's lab training, and the way they did that for the 60s, it works really well. Because the everything or nothing was you were in like a hologram room, and you were fighting robots and stuff. This found a 60s way to do that. You're not in a hologram room, obviously, but you're walking around, you're fighting very basic machinery. Um, but it all works, and it's all cool. And the new gadgets they came up with fit the time period. Um, a lot of care went into the making of this game, like to try and make it feel as an authentic, six, not just an authentic From Rush With Love game, but an authentic 60s Sean Connery era Bond game. And all that worked. You know, it's just in terms of certain things, like the AI was a little bit weaker than... Uh, it wasn't everything or nothing, or it just wasn't updated to keep up with the times. But the production value is through the roof on this. The guy who composed it also composed Horrible Bosses and the video game series Medal of Honor. Oh, um, Michael Giacchino? Christopher Lenners. Oh. I was okay, because I know Michael Giacchino did the original Medal of Honors, and then he did one and did Rogue One, so dreams do come true. Oh, well, then I don't know who the hell this guy is, <laughs> but it says the video. Oh, wait. Let me click on it. Is it the new Medal of Honor? Oh, no, it says Medal of Honor series. Oh, there you go. Um, but yeah, so Sean Connery is the only uh, actor from the original movie to reprise his role, because I think most of them are dead. Um, but it, it recast um, M, Money Penny, Q, like all the villains. And the people they got to do the voiceover on it do sound like the original actors, and they were able to, you know, in, invoke the, you know, how each character is supposed to feel. Like the guy who plays Q in this game, is like a dead ringer for Desmond Llewellyn. Mm -hmm. Like the his annotations and his, his tone of voice and things like that. I didn't play this game because it didn't get received well. Right. No, and it was it wasn't as well received as Everything or Nothing was. Yeah, Everything or Nothing was. Awesome. That yeah. was a really good high. Absolutely. And I just didn't want to waste my time. <laughs> yeah. if, if it, I read into the Metacritic, and I, I, I think uh, for GameCube, I got a 70, which is, yeah. which is fine. Yeah. If you, if you like James Bond, you'd probably like it. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, not, not worth it for me, I don't think. Yeah, I, this is definitely, if you're, if you're a fan of James Bond, specifically Connery-era James Bond, um, I would highly recommend getting this game. Otherwise... Probably skip it. Oh, I mean, yeah. you can get it for PS2, the original Xbox, the GameCube, and apparently the PlayStation Portable, the original PSP. So if you want to play it on the no, toilet, got a you can. Very bad room. It was sixty-one. I'd imagine so, but but get everything or nothing. Yes. What do you guys think about From Russia with Love for the GameCube? Yes. Um, GameCube. We PS2. PS2. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I bought it years later. Never mind. Yeah. But if you play it on the GameCube or the original Xbox or the PS2, or the PSP. Let us know down below, or anywhere on the internet what you thought of the game. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye. Bye.